Tajikistan for able and dynamic leadership of SICA during the last two years. I also thank the outgoing executive director for his valuable contributions. I congratulate His Excellency Mr. Mukhtar Tiluberti as Kazakhstan assumes the SICA's chairmanship and welcome the new executive director. Excellencies, COVID-19 has affected the entire globe with unprecedented health, humanitarian and economic challenges. Cooperative multilateralism offers the best mechanism to effectively address these complex challenges. The United Nations and its charter provides the overarching framework for such cooperation. Pakistan, like other nations, has worked for a concerted international effort to fight the COVID-19 pandemic and develop a vaccine that is accessible to all as a global public good. Prime Minister Imran Khan proposed global initiative on debt relief for developing countries to achieve enhanced fiscal capacity to tackle the negative consequences of the pandemic. Mr. Chairman, we have prioritized promotion of peace and security in and around Pakistan. We believe that a peaceful and secure environment regionally as well as globally would substantially contribute towards sustainable economic growth and development, reduction in poverty and enhance the welfare of our people. The launch of intra-Afghan negotiations in Doha was a historic occasion. Pakistan and Prime Minister Imran Khan has long maintained that there is no military solution to the conflict in Afghanistan. Political solution is the only way forward. We are gratified that our perspective is now widely shared across the international community. The Afghan leaders must now seize this historic opportunity and work for an inclusive, broad-based and comprehensive political settlement. Successful cul culmination of intra-Afghan negotiations remains indispensable for peace, stability and prosperity in the region and beyond. Pakistan fully facilitated the process that culminated in the US-Taliban peace agreement in Doha on the 29th of February 2020. We feel gratified that we have fulfilled our part of the responsibility. We hope all stakeholders will recognize the responsibility and play their part in ensuring success. Spoilers from within and from without, however, can pose formidable challenges. Constant vigilance will be required to guard against their machinations. Sustainable peace in South Asia would remain a dream if the core dispute of Jammu and Kashmir is not resolved in accordance with the resolutions of the UN Security Council and the wishes of the Kashmiri people. The unprecedented, brutal and inhuman military siege and communications blockade, especially since India's illegal and unilateral actions of 5th of August 2019 has destroyed lives, crippled livelihoods and imperiled the very identity of the people of Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. Repression against the Kashmiris and denying them their fundamental right of self-determination as enshrined in the relevant UN Security Council resolutions is against the fundamental principles of SICA. Excellencies, Pakistan has always been at the forefront of all international initiatives for promoting peace, tolerance, intercultural and interfaith harmony and respect both at home and abroad. We are particularly alarmed at the global resurgence of xenophobia, Islamophobia, hatred and acts of violence against minorities. Even as victims of violence belong to diverse religious minorities across the world, there is a disproportionate growth in hate speech and stigmatization 
of Muslim communities and individuals, including in our neighborhood. Pakistan is committed to promoting peace, stability, and development in our region. In this context, connectivity plays an important role. Pakistan fully supports China's Belt and Road Initiative, and we are proud to be a key player in one of the uh, flagship projects. China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, which besides our own national development, is sure to benefit our Central Asian and Eurasian neighbors. In conclusion, I would like to reiterate Pakistan's firm commitment to global and regional peace and stability and its commitment to the socio-economic welfare of its people through partnerships at the region and sub-regional levels and cordial relations with all states on the basis of sovereign equality. Pakistan remains ready to play its part for the realization of this vision, which is also the very basis of the founding of this organization. Thank you. خارجہ شاہ محمود قریشی وزرا کانفرنس سے ویڈیو لنک سے خطاب کر رہے تھے جس کے اندر ان کا کہنا تھا کہ کرونا وائرس نے پوری دنیا کو متاثر کیا اور پاکستان نے اس حوالے سے عالمی کاوشوں کا ساتھ دیا اور کرونا وائرس کو کم کرنے میں کامیاب رہا انہوں نے کہا کہ وزیر اعظم عمران خان نے معیشت کو کم نقصان دینے کے لیے مجوزہ حل پیش کیا جسے پوری دنیا میں اپنایا گیا ان کا مزید کہنا تھا کہ افغان امن عمل میں پاکستان نے اپنا کردار ادا کیا اور بین الافغان مذاکرات خطے میں امن و امان کے لیے ضروری ہیں مزید ان کا کہنا تھا کہ کرونا وائرس کی ویکسین کی رسائی تمام ممالک تک یقین بنانی چاہیے اور مزید انہوں نے کہا کہ مسئلہ کشمیر حل کیے بغیر خطے میں امن و امان ایک خواب ہی رہ جائے گا یہ تھی پی ٹی وی تازہ ترین